Recent analysis of initial coin offerings ICOS, has found that the average ICO investor sees returns of 82%. According to report published by the Boston College Carroll School of Management May 20, the 54-page report, titled Digital Tulips, Returns to investors in initial coin offerings found evidence of significant ICO underpricing after analyzing a data set of over 4,000 planned and realized ICOs. The ICOs studied raised a combined total of $12 BLN almost all of them since January 2017. Average returns from the initial token sale price to the first day's listed market price on a crypto exchange were found to be a staggering 179%, with investors holding periods averaging just 16 days. In cases where the issuers failed to list their tokens on an exchange within 60 days, the researchers imputed large minus 100% negative returns to these tokens, yet still found that the representative investor nearly doubled their investment in such cases. Including these results into the overall asset class data, the average token investment returns were found to be 82%. Overall, the report showed that crypto tokens continue to generate abnormal positive average returns with those investors who held their tokens for longer periods of 180 days seeing the highest returns between 150% and 430%. The researchers concluded that, while our results could be an indication of bubbles, they are also consistent with high compensation for risk for investing in unproven pre-revenue platforms through and regulated offerings. Our paper suggests that scams, while plentiful in number, are not as important in terms of stolen capital because investors are shrewd enough to spot and underfund them. A history of high-profile exit scams among ICOs has drawn considerable negative media attention to the popular crypto token fundraising model. In a recent campaign aimed to educate investors, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, created a website for a fake ICO that was designed to imitate the classic read flags of fraudulent token sales. Nonetheless, prominent members of the cryptosphere continue to advocate the need for ICOs, which offer a convenient means of generating support for emerging projects. Just this week, South Korea revealed it would lift its ban on domestic ICOs, which has been in place since September 2017. Thank you for listening to my channel. Please subscribe for get hot news in the world.